got a volunteer on board this time. Uh, we will throttle all the way up and engage our SAS, but it should just be the liquid fuels. But I'm not sure if they're going to be enough. Uh, let's pull those launch mechanisms down because that'll be problems. Okay, so launching or first trial launch of the Orbiter 2 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's going. It's alive. Now I'm going to try going in a straight line until I at least get rid of these because these are going to be a bit annoying to drop. Everything looks nice and stable. Everything's all strutted up by the looks of it. Hopefully. I think some of these top ones haven't been strutted up much but uh, fingers crossed they wouldn't be so bad. Dropping our solids. Activating those four. Now these aren't on your stage. They're literally just a solid burning... Let's just dial that. No, oh, we, we need it to be going maximum. Okay. We are losing speed with five of these engines going. Which isn't great. I'm hoping that'll sort itself out once we lose some weight. We're still climbing. But we are losing speed. These four engines might not be enough for us to go. Yeah, I <laughs> hear the huge explosions as things hit the ground. Yeah, no parachutes for anybody. Oh, we're just clocking down. Yep. We're doing okay. We're okay. We're still climbing. And we're just about to start gaining some more speed, so not so bad. We're losing the thickness of the atmosphere as well. There we go. Climbing back up again, which is good. And we're still climbing on that, which is good. Valentina looks like she's having a whale of a time. Okay, so I'm going to pull it over towards the 90 a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to start our inclination change. Now when these four, uh, this fi these five engines all drop at the same time, they've all got the same amount of fuel in, then we are on to the onion staging where we'll progressively lose different bits uh, of this one at a time. So we'll just keep it, hold it in this. Hopefully that doesn't go over at the 90 for too much. If that's, uh, if our prograde drops towards the 90 too much towards the horizon, we're going to have some problems. But for the moment, we're doing okay. We've left the thickest part of the atmosphere, which is best. Well, it's the best really, and we're picking up speed very nicely. And we've still got our top stage. By this time, we'd have lost most of our top stage. Okay, and dropping our bottom stage. Activating our next stage. Now these don't have many struts on it, so I'm hoping it all holds together. But we should start picking up some nice speed. And I'm going to bring her over, over towards the 90. There we go. And we, yep. So the engine's currently feeding from the first two that we're going to be dropping. I just need to have a look, see what our AP's going to look like. AP's doing fine. AP's doing okay. And we are very quickly picking up some nice speed here. Really liking the look of the speed we're picking up. So I can confidently pull it back over to the 90 again. We're going to lose our next load of engines in a second. And... Yeah, we just lost them, so we're going to drop them and back up to full again. Now the staging remembers what all different things do. And we are still climbing nicely. At 45, which is fine. I want to be out of 70. How's our contract? Yep, got to be in orbit, okay. So I'm going to cut my throttle there. That's going to pull in. And when our AP gets closer, so let's add in a manoeuvre about there. Add manoeuvre. And we want to circularise roughly about then. That'll do. 
How do? Okay. So we are just counting down our staging until we get there. We're going to need a thousand meters per second uh, and our nodes in one minute and it's going to be a roughly a 49 seconds. So let's get that down to about 30 seconds either side of our node. At which point I am going to burn Bring that up. There we go. I'm going to have to keep an eye on the staging, but we're doing okay. And we're going to drop these outers in a bit. I'm going to be flicking between the map view and our staging view, but for the moment we're doing okay. We'll be dropping them shortly. How are we doing? We're doing nicely. Drop down. Our P is AP is ninety four, P seventy five. I'm happy with that. We are in a lovely stable orbit, and we've still got a bit of juice left. Um, for what it's worth, let's try do a bit of science. I don't think we're going to get anything from this. Yeah, it's going to get us very little science. Well, never mind. Uh, we weren't here for the science this time. We were here for um, getting ourselves into a stable orbit, which we have done happily. Really happy about that. We managed to get up there, and we've got plenty of stuff left. Um, I'm probably going to try a little bit of science on the way back in, I think. So, let's try our report, shall we? First of all, a crew report, which is worth nothing. Let's try an EVA report. No, okay. EVA report. There you go, so she's got to let go for an EVA report. So now that's got us 16 science. Okay, and um, we're just going to hit F to grab. B to board. Yep. Above water was added. Which is good. Now we can do this. Not sure how many times we can do EVA. Let's try EVA again. Uh, above curb is water. Keep data. Board. Cancel. Dump experiment. That's fine. Uh, we're kind of just over the water. Man. Let's try and get over something else. Let's do a few EVA reports over... Um, Over some land masses. So we're coming over the land now. So let's try this one. Crew port in space. Yeah, it's not worth anything. EVA. Let go. EVA ports. Rook water. Are we still above the water? Reset. Oh. We're about to come over some land. Nope. Kirby Shores, keep data. Okay. Have to grab. Nope. Uh, T. Put your RCS back on. And your lights. What do you think you're doing? Uh, 
I didn't say that you could do that. Just flung yourself off into space, why don't you? Just got to use feather, feather touch feeling, really. Grab anything. No. Oh. Go. <laughs> this is torturous. <laughs> Grab hold. Thank you. Hold. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again without the uh, the letting go. We're going to board and we're going to try re-entering. So let's pull it over to our. Let's cancel that. We've got plenty of juice. Let's pull it over to our. Now we've got enough torque, which is good. We're going to pull it over and throttle up and start slowing her down. Thank you, camera change. Still slowing down nicely. And we want to drop her back into the atmosphere. Bringing that orbital velocity down. Again, we're landing in the dark. Bit unfortunate, maybe, but uh, never mind. Let's just keep our speed down. We're going to be... Yeah, we're definitely going to be landing now, but uh, we may as well just use as much as our fuel as possible, because get down that speed down as much as possible. Less wear and tear on the heat ablative surfaces. We've got parachutes for our very last stage, but that's the only stage we've got parachutes for. Um, not hopeful on the amount of science we're going to collect, but I think... I think there's quite a lot of uh, bimbling around Kerbin type sciencey stuff to do, so building an aeroplane might be the next thing that we could do, perhaps. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you, would you like to see me build a stupid terpy aeroplane, which I'm really terrible at? Which I would be. I'm not brilliant at aeroplanes, they're not a thing that I'm very good at. Well, we're really slowing down now. So look at orbital map. Yeah, we are. Just burning off as much of the speed. As soon as we finish burning off all of our fuel, we're going to just release the cockpit, uh, release the body of the rocket, and we're going to just cruise back into the atmosphere. Valentina looks like she's really, really enjoying herself. She just like she hasn't got a care in the world. Okay, we're going back up again. We are going back up. Never mind. Burnt a bit too much. Okay. So coming back into the atmosphere, let's just uh, use our fuel to keep the speed off. We're pretty much coming straight back down. Coming straight down isn't the best way to come down. It's usually good to come down at an angle, but uh, still, no harm done. Okay, so we can lose that. So now it's just us floating in the in the big in the big black, slowly coming back in. Can we get anything from that mystery go? Nope. No point. We've only got more mystery goo left to do. So I'm going to use them on these stage areas here, I think. As we've used the material base up, we may as well. The uh, little uh, little control devices we've got here have been doing wonders as well, really helping us get some really good control on our vessel. So observe Mr. Gru in this section. What do we get? We get a little bit. Keep the data, may as well. And then we're going to be hitting some lovely heating heating effects in a second. 
once we hit the thicker part of the atmosphere. There we go. And we're slowing down nicely. Mystery goo. Key data. And then we'll do one on the last one, and then that's it, really. We hardly had any speed at all, so you notice absolutely zero heating effect, so our bladers should be still spot on. But, uh, yeah, burn the fuel off, may as well. Rude not to. <laughs> there you go, suddenly just hit the floor. Okay, and we're passing into the thicker parts of the atmosphere. We're going to deploy chutes. Observe our mystery goo. 0 0.7 science, hardly any science at all, but every little helps really. Close our material bays up. Uh, we're going to land. Probably not going to get a lot of science, to be honest. Um, EVA is all well and good, but uh, yeah, not going to get a lot of science from this one. And you got our parachutes open, no problem at all. They used to when you were in physical time warp, the parachutes should just open really quickly and just rip your craft in half. Again, I really like the fact that uh, they open slowly. I'm not sure, I can't remember which mod they copied, but it was definitely one mod that used to do that and everybody loved it. Okay, so getting close. Looks like we're landing in a nice, nice flat area. We're doing barely five meters a second. And recover the vessel. There we go. I'm hoping we'll have completed the contracts because we got into an orbit, we're outside the atmosphere. It's just having a think. We've got some more reputation, which is good. We've got a hundred and we've got 114 sites, we've got plus 89 sites, that's not bad. So above Kerbal's water, shores, grasslands, and highlands. And then we've just got little bits and bobs from the other stuff that we've gathered. Pot recover. Uh, we've got 4,000 back. We haven't got many funds. And our crew... She's advanced to level 1, which is good. Let's uh, let's have a quick look at our contracts. We don't need any more of that. Yeah, Valentina has now got a star. So she's now got stability assist and prograde and retrograde holding. Which is really useful. Um, which is pretty awesome. Let's have a look at our... Yeah, so we'll look at that in a second. Let's look at uh, what we've we got. What have we got active? So we've we've definitely got that, and we unlocked science from that. Monies, monies and sizes. Uh, we've got active launch our first vessel. Really, still incomplete. Launch a first vessel from the launch pad. Incomplete. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. We've launched several vessels. I'm not quite sure um, what's going on with that. And this one is tested thing. Apparently I haven't tested it. We'll work it out later. We'll work it out later. We've got 114 sites to spend. And that's what I'm going to have a quick look at now. So we've got plenty of sites left to go with. We've got lots and lots of stuff to unlock. But for the time being... Uh, some more engines and fuel tanks or flight stuff that might be useful or more sciencey stuff and batteries now currently we don't have any solar panels either and that could be a problem so we could unlock solar panels here but we can't get it until we unlock this one which is fine what can we have we can unlock that different lander can more Retrograde stuff. Uh, RCS thrusters is pretty useful. Okay. So we've got enough to unlock at least two of these guys. So I think uh, being able to launch an airplane, which is good. And having a bit more science. And batteries is really good. And we don't have enough for that one yet. But now that's opened up a whole load of extra stuff, and with the airplane thing, we can build ourselves a very simple airplane and try some of the other goals of flying different people, tourists around, that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so that's the science spent. We've got 223 credits left. I've got the feeling we are hemorrhaging credits, but uh, for some reason the parachutes aren't working that well with rescuing parts 
so I'm not sure what's going on there. Not sure what's going on. But uh, we're going to play this until we either run out of money or we run out of reputation, as in we have lots of big crashes or we decide to move on to other things. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been 4040. You guys have been awesome. If you enjoyed this, please slap that thumbs up button. And uh, if you really, really enjoyed this and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. You're going to get a whole load of extra content. I'll see you later, guys. Have fun.